guys, today we're going to be talking about the Natal Snook, uh, otherwise known as a Queen Mackerel or <laughs> Scombro Morris Plurilineatus. Now, Plurilineatus coming from its overall uh, the color patterns on them. So it's very similar to a Kuta, a long cylindrical type fish, very sharp face, uh, very, very silver. And then it's got dots and dashes along it. That is the most defining feature. So Plurilineatus, multiple lines along the body like that, but not solid, they're broken up into dots and dashes. They are very similar to Kuta, with obviously the difference being those dots and dashes, and their head is slightly smaller in proportion to their body than a Kuta. Um, you can think of Snook as, I'm gonna offend the lady that's standing next to me, but very feminine fish. They can be extremely picky when it comes to eating. They one day will, will love a certain lure, the next day they won't even, uh, they won't even stare at it. So you can throw the same lure over and over again at them, they will just sun themselves, move around it and not touch a thing. Other days they'll, touch any, they'll attack anything that falls in the water. They have extremely sharp teeth, very much like the Kuta, so you do have to use wire. If you are throwing spoons, you do get a much better bite, bite rate when not using wire, but you will lose one or two spoons. So it's really up to you whether you want to use the piece of wire, get less bites, but land all your fish, or lose one or two spoons, but still get, but get more bites. They matured about two years of age and 75 centimeters. The maximum recorded size is 12 and a half kilos in South Africa. That was caught in Mapilan. And that was a fish of six years old and one point, I think 1.1, 1.2 meters. So quite a long fish. Um, in terms of your average catches, you're really looking at about two to three kilos is on the small side. A very good fish would be a seven kilogram fish and then an absolute giant is anything over 10 kilos. And we have had a few this season. It's actually been a very good season for snook. We've had uh, multiple reports from the paddle ski guys fishing up north of snook of 10, 10 and a half kilos. So those are absolute giants. They, they spawn off Zanzibar and the Zanzibar channel between August and September, so very far north. They are a pelagic migratory species. They grow very, very quickly. They move through different areas, so they are one of the species we recommend targeting. They are very capable of, of handling that overfishing. So not just overfishing, they're capable of handling fishing pressure. So definitely a fish, instead of targeting your rock pods, your bottom fish, and your, your reef predators, rather go for your pelagic uh, migratory species, as they can sort of, bu they buffer that by their fast growth rate. Very picky eaters, in terms of targeting, from the shore, uh, very rare to catch them on bait. It does happen. Um, as you say, there are no rules in fishing, so you could slide a whole mackerel and catch a snook. But really, they're gonna be targeted with small lures. Uh, now, what we use is very long rods, so 11 foot six, 12 foot six rods, and the lightest, thinnest braid that you can get. This is so that you can get the lure that 120, 150 meters that you need, and especially since you're throwing very, very small lures, you can't always get the weight to load the rod. Um, for me, I use something like the BG in the 11 foot 6 or if I can get my hands on it, the new Saltus, the 11 6. Uh, that with say 15 pound J braid on a 4000 size Saltus and you are absolutely set. Um, then you're going to be throwing your small spoons, uh, bullet type spoons are the best because they can get the distance. And for snook, you cannot wind fast enough. You really, really have to give it with the reel. In terms of ski boats, offshore fishing, you are looking at strip baits, feathers, and um, anything trawled quite quickly. The Strike Pro Magic Minnow in ice cream has been a winner for the last, I don't know how many years since it's really come out. Uh, that trawl behind fishing skis, especially with the slower action, is just hands down deadly, deadly for snook. So yeah, there are, they do hunt, they hunt fish because of their, you can look at their teeth, very, very sharp, so obviously designed to catch and slice up fish. That's with uh, also prawns, they will eat, and squid, but the main, main targets are fish. In terms of the tackle you're using for them, uh, you don't want to use your kuta tackle for this, you want to use your snook tackle. So four to six kg rods, absolutely perfect, something that's nice and soft, because the mouth is quite hard, but it's got a lot of soft skin around it, so if you hook into that, your can often pull. We often use very, very light gauge hooks, something very, very thin, so like a bass hook works beautifully for filler trace. And that, with the being very, very sharp, very small, 
penetrates very easily and then your soft rod is able to to absorb the bumps and the stuff as you as you're fighting it so you're not going to pull a hook yeah so very light tackle um, ski boats off the shore so it's available for everyone really other than your estuary anglers although we do get them in the harbor every now and again but yeah throwing spoons off the beach if that's your thing or trawling behind backline is really the place to go for them so get out catch a dotty dashy cooter and uh, have some fun cheers guys